You are worthy, O Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for an atmosphere of righteousness, holiness, and truth, an atmosphere of power, an atmosphere of love, an atmosphere of self-control, an atmosphere of joy, of peace, an atmosphere of grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you are our God, and beside you there is no other God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome into this fourth watch hour. Welcome, Holy Spirit, into the boat of our lives. Welcome into this devotional time. Welcome into our fourth watch family. Take full control of every person, oh God Almighty, that has come to join you, whether now or this, this afternoon or later this evening, whenever they join, oh God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your hand will be upon them to anoint, to appoint, to sanctify, to purify to bless, ah, to decree and to declare over our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that our families are blessed. Our health is blessed. Our, our prosperity is blessed. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that our, the work of our hands is blessed. I thank you, Lord, that in the middle of a famine, your people, your family shall flourish and prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty, when Jacob worked under an oppressive system to Laban his father-in-law God you still caused him to flourish when it looked everything was set against him the, the deck was stacked against him that he couldn't make it God Almighty in 14 years he accomplished what Laban a man of great means could not accomplish on his own and so I thank you Lord God Almighty that you are the God of Abraham you made Abraham rich you are the God of Isaac you caused Isaac to sow in a time of famine and reap that same year you are the God of Jacob who in 14 years you made him wealthy and gave him a, a huge family that that grew to be a nation I thank you Lord God Almighty that you are the God who creates all things out of nothing you are the God that can heal a land in a day you are the God who can make things Things change for at a moment's notice and so God we thank you this morning that it is you that we live and move and have our being it is you that we trust it is you that we love oh God Almighty and it is you that love us and God who are we that you are mindful of us oh glory to God we thank you this morning oh great and awesome God for the honor of coming into your presence for the honor of saying that you are our God Lord there is so there are so many things uh, that we in our own mind in our own hearts uh, wish were different uh, but God Almighty if you have not made it different then who are we to say otherwise uh, for you are our God and you love us with an everlasting love uh, and you love us beyond what we could ever love or how we could ever love ourselves uh, but God Almighty there is none that can stand against you there is none that can compare to you there there is none that can 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 do anything that you can do and so we thank you this morning oh god the fourth world family thanks you for your love for us we thank you for the honor of waking us up to be in your presence lord so many still struggle with sleeping oh god so many struggle with, with 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 insomnia in the nights and then sleeping through ah uh, when they were supposed to be at your feet but we thank you lord that those who desire those who who who, who wants to be at that place at that time and that you will bring them in and cause them to benefit and those who will come later on they will not miss anything because each one is dealt with in, a, in their own way thank you for the personalized relationship that you have with each of us even when we come together as a family you touch each person separately and so Lord God Almighty on this prophetic Wednesday I thank you uh, that God you are ministering to us in this season you're ministering to us and bringing forth oh God Almighty great joy great peace great love in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Lord God Almighty and that the atmosphere in our environment where we are right now in our homes 
Hallelujah. In our cars, as we as we walk or jog, exercise at the gym, Lord God Almighty, in, in, in whatever situation or circumstance that we are in our offices, oh God Almighty, I thank you that right now angels are shifting that atmosphere and changing things. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that everything that we need for life and godliness is being poured out afresh this morning. The anointing of God is being poured upon us afresh this morning. The anointing for healing and deliverance the anointing for transformation, the anointing for revival, the anointing for restoration, the anointing for wall building and wall repairing in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, that your good hand is upon your fourth watch family and that we will prosper and be in good health even as our soul prospers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I thank you this morning and that our children, O oh God Almighty, who are going through difficult times in the this new what is called what they call the new normal there is no new normal for you anything that is normal is of God anything that is a new normal man tries to shift that which is your normal and make it something else but we cancel cramp and paralyze every new normal in the name of Jesus Christ there is only the normal of, of, of what you have created and what you say and the abnormal that man says and man tries to do to the devil our father god we thank you this morning Lord God Almighty, that a shift is coming in the lives of our children for the enemy desires in this season of technological e education, uh, transfer transformation and impartation. Oh God, to leave a good percentage of our population of children in, in, in darkness, in illiteracy. But yeah, God, we cancel that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey God Almighty, the enemy came at our children with, with, with bad behavior and, 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 and all manner of uh, disrespect when they were in the classroom. But still, the, the, the engagement gave them a greater opportunity. Now the, the enemy has, has stepped up his game and has come against our families, O oh God Almighty, by eliminating the majority of those who will have a chance at education, a chance, God, even just to overhear some of the things that are happening in the class. Now there is a disconnect by this system that exists, oh God. Those who do not have access to internet, God will be left behind. Ah, God, but God, we thank you that this has not taken you by surprise we thank you this morning oh god almighty that you knew that this day would come this time would come this season would come and you know the importance oh god almighty of the transition of generations and so if a generation be uneducated what will they do oh god almighty if Hallelujah. If the, if, the, if the foundation be destroyed, what will the righteous do? Well, today, as the enemy tries to destroy the foundation of our nations, ah, God Almighty, the righteous stand in the fourth watch hour, and we say we are in the boat with the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He has given us authority and dominion, and I, de I declare this morning, I prophesy this morning on this prophetic Wednesday that our children will not die. Our children will not become uneducated. Educated. Our children will not lose their, <coughs> excuse me, our children will not lose their opportunity. They will not lose their place in line to become the next prime ministers and presidents and doctors and lawyers they will not lose their place to become the next pastors and teachers and engineers and firemen and police and soldiers. They will not lose their opportunity due to a, a lack of impartation of knowledge wisdom and understanding i declare today that the devil's plan will be just like the plan to crucify jesus the bible says if the if the princes of this world had known they would not have crucified christ if the princes of this world if the principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places had known they would not have sent corona they would not have released coronavirus on this world they would not have released coronavirus on jamaica on the caribbean on the nations oh god almighty i thank you that this is the season where because men 
men are men are unable to depend upon themselves upon their systems upon their processes upon their technology that we will only be able to depend on you and so god i thank you that while so many of our children are seemingly being left out in this season it is a prime opportunity for a miraculous impartation of great wisdom knowledge and understanding to our children they will not be able to explain how our children are so brilliant when they did not have technology to link them into tablets or phones or wi-fi i thank you lord god almighty that we will see the positive in every negative that comes our way lord god almighty the bowler in a cricket game is so good that everyone seems to be going out but i thank you lord that we in the fourth watch will not be bold we will not be caught we will not give away our wicket we will continue to pre play defensive stroke until you give us the go ahead to hit for the boundary we will continue to put our feet to the pitch of the ball and we will continue to play defensive defensive until you as the coach says it's time to attack it's time to attack lord god almighty we will learn the strategies of the enemy we will soak up the pressure as in as in boxing God, we will soak up the attack of the enemy. We will rope a dope and rope a dope and cope until it's time to attack. And we will knock out the enemy when that right time comes in the name of Jesus. So Lord, we continue to trust you. We continue to wait upon you because we are in a situation and a time and a circumstance that we have no answer for. God, they're trying to find a vaccine, but that vaccine will only be mean and will make us lean. We will not take that on the scene. God Almighty, we cancel, we cramp and paralyze every plan, plot, scheme and trap of the enemy, whether it's coming through the higher ups. God Almighty, there are some men who have a mission to eliminate people from this world. Ah, God Almighty, through Boko Haram, through, 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 through ISIS, through, through different drugs, through, through, through all manner of evil ways God Almighty they are they have their hand as a puppet working for Lucifer but let me tell you this morning by prophetic decree Lucifer the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth rebuke you you and your followers you and your workers you and your your your, your puppets the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you whether they are reprehensive men with guns and machetes cutting off heads of black people and people in general we rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ whether you are in labs trying to cook up things that will kill us or will contaminate our DNA the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you whether you are in government and making laws and rules that will degrade and cause a, 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 a regression in our society the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you by whatever means or method you have infiltrated to try and destroy the creations of God the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rebuke you, rebuke you, rebuke you. Karubo Sikanduri be Kishutu. We as a family stand against the works of the enemy. We stand against the plots and plans, the schemes and traps of the enemy today. We are in righteous indignation on this prophetic Wednesday, and we prophesy as a family that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord over our nations. He is Lord over our territories. He is Lord over every continent for there is not a place in the world that man has built there is not a nation that man has risen up man has facilitated God's plans for each nation but man has not created anything therefore man cannot destroy what God has built and so in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Lord God we as a Fort Worth family stand this morning in the gap for every nation oh god almighty every hey god we stand in the gap for mozambique this morning yes. for boko haram yes. and isis oh god almighty have infiltrated and we see the faces of those 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 children those women and children that are displaced god lord last night when I saw them Lord I, 
for a moment I lost it and I said why can't they just drop dead but Lord you convict me this morning and in my prayer time God Almighty I had to repent because it is not them but Lucifer who the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke who has infiltrated their hearts because they were once babies they didn't know evil like that how did they become so evil that they are cutting off human beings heads with machete but Lord we will not ignore it because it's not happening to our children or our family members we will continue to, to stand we will continue to stand, Lord, to stand against the wickedness of this world, whether it's coming from those billionaires or it's coming from those who have been infiltrated and have been made enemies of the state, enemies of your creation. We stand in the gap this morning and we prophetically declare that they shall not cause us to de derail us. They shall not be deny us. They shall not uh, cause us to be de deterred. We will stand. We will not fear. We will stand in confidence knowing that our God is the Lord. That our God will defeat the enemies in the same way that Elijah was given the authority and the power and the strength to defeat 850 prophets of Baal Lord I thank you that every member of the fourth watch family will have the power and the strength and the dominion and the skills to defeat 850,000 of every of the enemies that will come against our nations and against our children and against those who we serve and those who serve us and so Lord download this morning I prophetically declare this morning oh God on this day that you are downloading and anointing to speak like like Elijah's sword swung to declare like Elijah's sword swung Oh God Almighty, like the children of Israel as they took on the various battles in the wilderness. Ah oh God Almighty, hallelujah. Where I remember God in the word where Moses had his rod stretched over the valley as Joshua was leading the army against the, the, the enemies of Israel. And God Almighty, as long as his rod stayed up, the enemy was defeated. And when he got tired, oh God, there was Aaron and her that held up his hand and caused the enemies to be defeated. This morning, Morning, I decree and declare that angels are our ear and her this morning. Our hands will not fall down. Our words will not fall to the ground, but will go forth. And I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that no weapon formed against your people shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against us in judgment is condemned and destroyed now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so we thank you, Lord that this is the day when every fourth watch family member whether they're watching now or watching later shall receive power to tread upon serpents and scorpions shall receive power over all the power of the enemy in the name of jesus not shall but is right now a download is taking place god let this be a moment of pentecost where every person that has a heart for for for, for your work for your will and for your purpose to keep your statutes for a heart oh god almighty to speak into situations and circumstances concerning their nation their family their community and the world lord download like you did to the disciples in the upper room at Pentecost cause a mighty rushing wind to move through this fourth watch hour and declare your glory upon your people and send us forth to destroy the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we thank you Lord hallelujah we thank you Lord that it is so and it is done according to your will in Jesus name in Jesus mighty name glory be to the name of the Lord hallelujah hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord most high we thank you Lord for this month of October we thank you that this is the month of joy, the month of peace, the month of hope. And we thank you, Lord, that as joy comes into our heart, peace will be will emanate from us. And as peace emanates from us, O God Almighty, we will walk and live and move and have our being in the hope that you are the God who will deliver for us. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we have favor with you and man in this time and in this season. That the favor that we experience with you and man will catapult us into 
into the rest of our lives not just this month oh god almighty but we will flow in your glow and in your glory in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you lord god almighty that the anointing for good success is upon us in this month and even now god everything is changing shifting those who have not yet begun to see your glory in this month of october lord i thank you that they are next in line i prophesy this morning that you are next in line for god's blessing hallelujah those who have already received even double portion in some instances it's your time to move over to the side and let another foot watch family members step up to the front and receive the oil of anointing the oil of blessing the oil of favor the oil of overflow and so lord we thank you that good success is our portion this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah hallelujah we thank you this morning, O God Almighty, that the seven spirits of God, according to Isaiah 11 and verse 2, is upon us in an uncommon way and manifesting right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that because your spirit is upon us, it is manifesting through us. He is manifesting through us as the spirit of wisdom and understanding, as the spirit of counsel and might, as the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. I prophesy this morning that the seven spirits of God that makes us invisible, invincible that make us invisible to the enemy in the name of Jesus that makes us indestructible undefeatable is operating now in the name of Jesus, the seven spirits of God that makes us royalty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ is moving like a magnet and is drawing us into the place of victory we thank you, Lord, that not only are the seven spirits operating, but the nine fruit of the Spirit, our God Almighty, is downloaded into us by your Holy Spirit and begins to emanate from us to the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ and the blessing of those around us. We thank you, Lord, that the nine fruit gifts of the spirit are also emanating from us oh god and not only are they emanating to, to to bless those who are in need but they are also imparting from us oh god to impart to others including our children and so lord we thank you this morning i prophetically declare that those who are on the fourth watch in this in this time those who are watching if you will have faith for it i prophesy that you will lay hands upon yourself and the nine gifts of the spirit will begin to manifest in and through you and if you look if you lay hands upon your children whatever it is that you desire to see come to pass for your children will come to pass in their lives so lay hands upon them and declare that they are blessed lay hands upon them and prophesy that the fruit of the spirit and the gift of the spirit are in your children and they shall be excellent they shall walk in righteousness holiness and truth and they don't have to physically be there with you so sister Karen call the names of your three children your three sons and your daughter and prophesy over them release that which is being released upon you on them and each one of you child our fourth watch family members do the same in the name of Jesus I prophesy good health over you now in the name of Jesus Christ Christ. Come on, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Come on, money, call your son and your daughter's name. Prophesy over them. Declare this day by prophetic decree that they walk in uncommon favor, that they are blessed and highly favored, that no untimely death will come to them, that they will be leaders and not followers. They will be an example of greatness in this nation and in the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will accomplish things that were not meant for them to accomplish come on declare some things prophesy this morning we are a prophetic group come on yori prophesy over your womb that there shall be a seed that will come forth out of your womb a seed of righteousness a seed of holiness a seed of truth come on yori prophesy put your hand on your stomach if you have not yet conceived a child put your hand on your stomach if you're a man and you have not yet uh, impregnated your wife put Put your hand on your, your lower stomach and prophesy to your seed. Prophesy to your future seed. Come on, prophesy. Come on, this is Prophetic Wednesday and you are prophets of God. You are the prophet over your own life. Prophesy in the name of Jesus. I release. 
the anointing to prophesy now. Prophesy over your life. Come on, people of God. Stand in faith and prophesy. Prophesy that you will flourish. Prophesy that you will have businesses. Prophesy that everything that has been denied of you will now come back and come forth in greater measure in the name of Jesus. Prophesy that you're, if, if you are divorced, that your next wife or your next husband shall be the person that God Almighty himself has created for you and that you will flourish and you will go forth and be and do for his good pleasure. Prophesy that the ministry that God has called you to will arise in you in greater measure, that more souls will be won from your very presence, that more souls will be won from your very words, that more people will be delivered, set free and made whole by your very word. There are some of you who, who have been in Lodibar for years, some of you who have been held back, set back, delayed, derailed and denied for years, but today I prophesy that every chain that have locked you in the dungeon of of, of of negativity in the dungeon of lack of purpose I break that chain now in the name of Jesus and I prophesy that this is the day when you are coming out this is the day when everything that is held that has held you back is torn off in the name of Jesus this is the day when like Samuel you will hear the voice of the Lord calling your name I call your name in the realm of the spirit and you will arise and be counted you will arise Rise and your enemies will scatter. You will arise and be a champion for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy this morning that you and your household will not just serve the Lord, but will serve people by the Spirit of the living God. I declare today that where your feet trod, you will own, that what you speak will go forth with fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is a day when we are not taking any prisoners. I prophesy today that those who will believe will receive in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and those of you who by faith have said I will not be moved I will stand in the will and purpose of God I prophesy this day that as you have been faithful in standing on the word of God today your change has come today is the day when the rope has been let down into the pit and you are taking out of it today Today is the day when Potiphar's wife will no longer tell lie on you and keep you in prison. Today is the day when you are open and let out of prison in the name of Jesus. Today is the day when the, the, the Pharaoh hallelujah who is the Lord Jesus Christ in this case has sent for you and it is time for you to come to the palace in the name of Jesus Christ today is the day when you become prime minister in the mighty name of Jesus Christ like Joseph today is the day when your change has come your transformation has come your newness has come your suddenly has come in the name of Jesus Christ claim it in the name of Jesus claim it Today is the day of your authority in the name of Jesus. Today is the day of your good health, your transformation, your good health in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today is the day when your purpose will arise to the top like cream on coffee in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is the day when your authority has been sealed and you've been given your ID card that says you are the managing director of the company and everything that happens in the company for which you are managing director is your responsibility. Today is the day when you've been given your badge of honor, your badge of authority. Today is the day when you have been anointed for purpose, anointed for process, anointed to win. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Today is the day when the spirit of salvation has been released upon your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today is the day when restoration has come to your family members those of you who have been calling out to God saying Lord my family is in disarray hi God my husband and I are in at, at, at odds God my family my brothers and sisters are at odds we are constantly at each other there doesn't seem to be any peace we break that spirit of torment in your family now in the name of Jesus Christ and we command unity we command the hearts of the fathers to turn to the children and we command by, by the spirit of God the hearts of the children 
present a return to the fathers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare that mothers will, 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 will nurture those who they have given birth to and those who have, who have been given birth to will nurture their mothers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare today that as the enemy desires to sift you like wheat that it shall not come to pass. We declare it failed in the name of Jesus Christ because as we prophesy, as we pray for you now, goodness and mercy shall not just follow you but shall go before you and those who you come in contact with will experience goodness and mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah. A part of Isaiah 60 says, Arise and shine, for your light has come, yes. and the glory of the Lord arises upon you. Hallelujah. See, darkness covers the earth, yes. and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, he rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and, and kings, kings to the brightness of your dawn. dawn. Glory to God. Hallelujah, yes. hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Blessed be the name of the hallelujah. Lord Most High. What a good God. What a good God. What a good God. Listen, man. Hey, Jesus. If you can believe, your circumstances have shifted and changed this morning. If you can believe and own it, glory to God. Change has come to your household. Change has come. And I'm, I'm, when I say your household, I don't just mean the place where you live, your domicile, the place where you turn key and go into. Your household is every person that carries your bloodline in the name of Jesus. Your grandmother, your grandfather, if they're alive. Your mother and father, if they're alive. Your sisters and brothers, your aunts, uncles, cousins, niece and nieces and nephews. I command them to receive that which has been passed on to you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ restoration to everything that concerns you I prophesy it and I command it to be so by the authority that the Lord Jesus Christ has given unto me by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name amen and amen and amen hallelujah 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 I don't know about you but I feel a shift I feel light I feel like I was ah God like some helium has been been given into me uh, and I'm about to float away. I got to be holding on to the table. Come on, hold on to your bed and let the Lord know that you have received what he has inputted into you. Hold on to your chair. Hold on to your table. Hold on to your desk. Hold on to something as a symbol, a prophetic symbol that God, you have made me light as a feather. I'm floating above the plans of the enemy. I'm floating above the works of Lucifer. I'm floating hallelujah because I'm seeing with you Christ Jesus in heavenly places far above principalities and powers and every spiritual wickedness that wants to hinder my progress in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord glory to God hallelujah Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, man. We are halfway through the hour already. But let me tell you, prayer is important, man. We got to declare some things. And on this prophetic Wednesday, God has led me to prophesy over your lives. And I know that God will deliver. Glory to God. Because I cannot call anything to come into your life except by the Spirit of the living God. And so if God doesn't make it happen, then it cannot happen. But if God says it, it shall be so. For he said in his word that he shall not, his word shall not pass away. He will honor his name above his very name. Not one jot or tittle of his word, hallelujah, shall not come, shall, shall not come to pass. Ah, God Almighty, he says it, and it is so. It shall be as God has said it. Yes, he honors his word above his very name. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth will pass away before his word does not come to pass. And we believe it and receive it. Good morning to those in the in the in the watch parties. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bless the name of the Lord and we praise God for you. Good morning to each and every one of you, man. It is a good day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel excited about what God is doing. Hallelujah. As the testimonies continue to come in in October, as God has led me and led us to, to just declare October the month to remember. October as September was not a not a month to remember, but we declare oh hallelujah. Yes you know what I cancel that regardless of what has happened in September it is still a month to remember you know why because 
excuse me, because we didn't die. Come on, glory and to so God. Hallelujah. I, hey, September was truly a month to remember. It was our biggest month of birthdays. So many of God's people. And you know, maybe that is why September was under so much attack. Because so many great people were born in September. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. And so we will remember September. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Because it's a good time. And we stand on the shoulders of those great people of God. Those great Fourth Watch family members that were born in September. Hallelujah. And now we can arise at a higher level yes. in October. Hallelujah. And be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. So I want to just give you a, a quick testimony of some things that has happened. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Two quick things. Uh, person, two persons from overseas, one male, one female, uh, literally on the same day, on the same day, if I remember correctly, uh, in the in the in the daytime. Uh, a woman of God called from work and said, man of God, I'm in problems. I feel like I'm dying. I'm at work and, 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 and maybe I have to call the ambulance or something because I am not having a good day. I feel sick. I feel like my life is leaving my body. And it was, you could hear the fear, literally fear. My wife can confirm it, man. You could hear the fear in this daughter of God's voice because she literally felt like life was leaving her, like God was calling her home. And we just come in agreement and we says, God, uh, this daughter of God shall not die but live. And we, we went through a process and just, this is on the job. Come on, glory to God. She lives overseas. And glory to God, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, all praise, all honor and all glory to Jesus Christ of Nazareth who died on the cross that we might have life and have it more abundantly and we gave her some things prophetically to do and she did them and by the time we came off the phone she was feeling much better feeling like she was alive but the thing had not finished yet what couldn't happen on the phone happened after we hung up by the time we hung up the woman of God said she had to chase to the bathroom and everything that the enemy had placed in her whenever he placed it in her began to come up and it came up to her nose i don't know if it came to her ears as well but it came out of everywhere that things can come out of and the next morning which was yesterday morning she called her said i am feeling great i am alive and well i am strong and mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds hallelujah she was celebrating glory to god and we give god glory that same night uh overseas again by video call hallelujah Hallelujah. We had an appointment to minister to a gentleman who for 32 years has been in bondage. Everything that he tried to do, the enemy destroyed it. The enemy locked him in a dungeon like Paul and Silas and took away all light, food, clothes, shelter, everything. But God, in a day, God can change your circumstances. Come on, people of God. That's why I'm trying to say to our Fort Watch family members, there is someone locked in a dungeon that only you can release. There is someone that is in Lodibar that you have to send a rope to and pull them out of that miry clay. There is someone in a pit that you can take them out of it. There is someone in Potiphar's house that you will have to defend in court. There is someone in a prison that you will have to tell the king about. Come on, somebody. You got to know that there is a call and a purpose on your life the same way someone had to pull you out of the pit that you were in years ago while you were in sin heading for death and destruction you got to pull somebody out now do not go back home to Jesus without pulling somebody out of the pit in the name of Jesus Christ come on people of God pull somebody out you might not be a deliverance minister like us but tell somebody that Jesus loves them tell somebody about the joy that you feel in your your soul because now you have been made whole and Jesus is in control. Glory to God. Come on now. Don't be selfish man. Tell somebody about the goodness of God. It might be the rope that they need to come out of the pit that they are in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
And so after 32 years of struggle, after 32 years of demonic oppression, witchcraft, and all these things, man, the, the Lord God Almighty <coughs> showed up and delivered the man of God. Ah, the man of God says, I feel so light. I feel. Oh and I prophesied this morning, man of God, if you are on and you are hearing, oh. know, says the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. that your change has come, uh, that your hey. light has shine, is shining yes. again, yes. that the anointing, God about she can do Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3 is yours man of God woman of God you know him if he's not on this morning tell him that Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3 is his word this morning I prophesy that your light has come man of God and the glory of the Lord has risen up upon you and you will shine bright like a diamond and all that you have lost over 32 years and more will be restored to you with interest like Abraham went for Lot and took back what the enemy stole. So we go with you in the realm of the spirit and take back what has been stolen from you. And those of you who are here who the enemy has stolen from, the enemy stole your husband for years, your wife for years, your finances for years, your children for years. We are going back into the enemy's camp this morning and we prophetically declare that we're going to spoil his house. We're going to bankrupt him. We're going to take all what he did, what, what he thinks he owned for himself. We cleaning him out. We declaring him bankrupt in the name of Jesus. Come on, Fort Watch family. Go into the enemy's camp. Go into his camp and take back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go in and take back. Go in and take back in the name of Jesus Christ. Take what is what is what is his and take it back to the people and give and share. And so as the Lord bless you, man, remember to share what God has blessed you with. Come on, glory to God. I see a woman of God just came up. Hallelujah. That the enemy has been fighting, fighting at work, fighting in, 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 in her business, fighting her finances. But today I prophesy that the enemy that you saw yesterday, the enemy that you saw last week, the enemy that you saw for months, ah, woman of God, JW, woman of God, you know who I'm talking to, JW. I call you out this morning and I declare that the enemies that are at your workplace, that are conspiring against you. I break their conspiracy power in the name of Jesus. Those that are speaking negatively against you, JW, my sister, I cancel their assignment. I command their tongues to cleave to the roof of their mouths now. I prophesy that your turnaround has come because you have a heart after God. You have been seeking after God and you have been serving and doing what you're supposed to do. And your heart of love must not be punishment. It must be rewarded. And so I declare your reward is released today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, and, and, and also another testimony. The Lord had, uh, had us prophesy glory to God to a woman of God in this group. Hallelujah. About a, a, a change of vehicle. And, 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 and though she was a little nervous and anxious, let me tell you, man, people of God, you got to believe the word of God. And it will establish you and believe God's legitimate prophet. Notice I'm using my words carefully. Legitimate prophet and you shall prosper. If you do not believe, then you will delay what God is doing. It will not be denied, but you will delay it. I prophesied to the woman of God that in September she will receive a new vehicle. And the process started and everything was in trend. And before the month of September got to a week, the woman of God got a little weak. She got a little nervous. She was wondering how come three days gone in September and she don't see the car yet. I had to remind her that September has 30 days. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But I'm here to report this morning that though her anxiety for a moment uh, caused a few days to shift, God says even though you fail, hallelujah, for a moment, I still am merciful. And so today, this day, the seventh day of October, come on, the first week of the month of September represents seven days. There's seven days in a week. 
weaker and, and so because she doubted or feared or got anxious in the first week God says I will cause seven days to come out of that month and seven days to be added to the next month and so on this seventh day her nice brand spanking new shiny plastic pandas C 2021 SUV has been rolled out. Ayaku Shapaya Sata. Come on, somebody. Prophetically in this environment, receive your new car. Receive your new car. I feel the presence of here. I'm covered in goosebumps. Receive your new car. Receive your new SUV. You've been wanting to change your car for a while now. Receive that new car. You've been wanting a car for the new for a new season. Yes. Too much yes. boss, too yes. much taxi. Yes. You need your own yes. independence. Yes. I release yes. that transportation yes. for you. I release that yes. SUV. Yes. I release that new car in the yes. name of yes. Jesus Christ of yes. Nazareth. Miraculously, yes. as God yes. could give my wife yes. and I a car yes. fully paid for. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So he can give to you yes. in the name yes. of yes. Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. We thank you, Lord, Hallelujah. for your blessing upon your people. Yes. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name. Hallelujah. Whether you are familiar with the Fort Watch family member, family or not. If you are new today, come on, just believe. Jump in the river and begin to swim. Believe in God. Jump in the river and begin to swim. Talking about new kato shebo sikandara. There is nothing that our God cannot do. There is nothing that our God does not own. And we will just believe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to welcome this morning, family. Help me welcome David Benbo. David Benbo. David Benbo. B E N B O W. Ah, God Almighty. David, God has bent his bow and has released you into the goodness of his love, into his mercy. And so, David, I don't know what your state or position is, but I prophesy this morning that this month of October, as you have come on this seventh day, as your new day. Seven is the number of completion. Seven is the number of perfection. I declare that God is perfecting now everything that concerns you, David. God has completed. It is finished. Yes. that which you have struggled with David yes. hallelujah I don't know you from anywhere but the Lord says to yes. tell you David that there has been some uncertainties yes. and some and some and some hemming and hawing some stepping forth and stepping back that has been happening in your life but God yes. says to yes. tell you if you will just press in do yes. despite the storms you see despite the clouds you see despite yes. the lightnings and the thunder that yes. you hear God says I am with you though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death you will fear no evil for I your God am with you my rod and staff will comfort you for outside on the next side of the storm awaits a table before you in the presence of your enemies he will anoint your head with oil and arise you to be his son and his servant at the same time David the Lord is calling you because there is an evangelistic call in which you must start and God says as you start and push out know that there will be no limits to where I will take you, says the Lord. I give you a taste of me, says God, and I will cause you to flourish and to prosper and to be in good health even as your soul prospers. I speak to your health right now. I speak to your joints and marrow. I speak to every generational curse of infirmity that wants to come upon you, and I cancel it, David. Come on, people of God, receive, receive any generational curse that is upon you as the Spirit of God is releasing generational curses. Cancel it, cancel it, and grab on to your healing this day in the name of Jesus Christ. And so David, we welcome you, mighty man, mighty man, we welcome you and we declare that your future is bright because God has gotten it right in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Sandra, 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 okay. Sandra is also new. Sandra, we bless you. We declare that, Sandra, your name is blessed in this time and in this season. And so you are the blessing of God to a nation. You are the blessing of God to your family, the blessing of God to your co-workers and to your community in the name of Jesus Christ. Sandra, as a, as a female with a womb, I release prophetically into your womb this morning to give birth to purpose, to give birth to prosperity 
prosperity, to give birth to wealth, to give birth to good success in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that the, the, the word of God shall grow in you and come forth out of you for the fulfillment of purpose and the transformation of lives in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I just want to say something for a few minutes. Wife, how much time do I have? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has 10 minutes. Okay. Glory to God. Let's see how much I can get done in five minutes because we have communion. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to me as I, as I was in prayer this morning, just praying in the spirit, praying in the spirit. As I got up and started to get ready to, 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 um, to engage practically in what needed to be done for this devotional time, I heard in my spirit Isaiah 54 prophetically encourage my people from Isaiah 54 this morning. And so I came out and began to look at what it is that God is saying to you, or my, my family and God's family from Isaiah 54. And the Lord highlighted Isaiah 54 from verse 4. Hallelujah. And then pick up verse 4. Yep, verse 4. And then you skip and pick up at verse 9. To verse 15. So that's your word. Isaiah 54 verse 4. And then verse 9. To verse 15. That's God's prophetic word. Over your life this morning. And the topic that I want to just. Minister to you for 5 minutes is. Will you still believe? Will you still believe? When you have been given a prophetic word. From the Lord. That says you are healthy. You are well. The enemy that you have seen today, you will see them no more. And you're still seeing them days after you have received that word. Weeks after you've received that word. A year after you've received that word. Will you still believe that God is good? When you wake up in the morning like me and you're feeling a pain that makes you just want to run to the hospital and you know that healing is the children's bread, you know that by his stripes you are healed, will you still believe? Will you still press in and say, if I perish, I perish, but I will go on and do what God has called me to do? Will you shrink back and say, you know, it looks like God doesn't love me. It looks like God has left me. It looks like my sin has come up to God and he has turned his back against me. Will you still believe that his love is unfailing? Will you still believe that he is perfect in all of his ways? Will you still believe that his plans for you are good and not evil to give you a hope and a future glory to god when your marriage falls apart and your spouse begins to say negative and evil and wicked things about you will you still believe that god is a god of love will you still even believe that god is the one that brought you together or will you curse him and die when, you're, when, 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 when things are falling apart like it did for Job, when everything around you seems to be dying, when for years all you can see is, 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 is weeping, that not only enduring for a night but for many nights, will you still believe that God is a good God? Will you still believe that God is not wicked? The Bible says there were some prophets who prophesied and did not see it come, live to see it come to pass. But does that mean it didn't come to pass? Hallelujah. You are not always the one to see or you are not always the one to determine how God works in your life or through you. But if it doesn't happen the way you understand it, will you still believe? Hallelujah. I'm speaking to myself, family. You are just overhearing me. Will I still believe? Come on, God has been taking me through some things, some pains that you cannot understand or imagine. Glory to God. But you would never know unless I tell you because I still believe and I'm still working on my belief. I am still pressing in and believing that my God, if he chooses to treat me like Paul where he says, my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Therefore, by every means necessary, I will still believe. But I will also say unto my Lord, Lord, where I don't believe, help though my unbelief. We must make up our minds, people of God, that what God has said to us is true and it is real and it will come to pass if we faint not. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to just read a little part of this as much as I can get to before I get the signal to wrap up. Hallelujah. Verse 4 says, Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Oh, glory to God. My wife, one of my wife's favorite scriptures is those who look to him are radiant and their faces will never be covered with shame. Glory to God. If God has said it, come on. Psalm 34 verse 5. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces will never be covered with shame. God says out of the mouth of two or more witnesses shall a thing be established. And so the psalmist wrote it and here Isaiah has con or Isaiah confirmed it and the psalmist also confirmed it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You will not be ashamed, neither be disgraced. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you can be ashamed and then you can be disgraced. There are two separate things. Shame can happen if I say something to my wife and she, and she says, you know, um, I don't receive that. That's not true. That's not the word of the Lord. You feel a little ashamed. Or you speak in a private setting, a private circle, and you feel ashamed because... It, you, you, you're found to have misquoted or, 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 or you made a mistake you feel a little ashamed but disgrace is when it happens nationally or internationally come on glory to God it is on a greater level and God says he not, not only will he not allow you to be ashamed but he will not allow you to be disgraced so do not fear step out and tell people that Jesus Christ is Lord step out and pray for the sick because he will not put you to shame and he will not cause you to be disgraced in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ all you have to do is believe and when you pray for the sick hallelujah come on I have prayed for many people and see them delivered by the Spirit of God I have prayed for people who are sick and see them healed by the Spirit of God and yet I have some issues and I am laying hands and by faith praying for myself and I don't see the same thing happen but I still believe but I still believe Come on, glory to God. And those of you who are not at that place yet, don't write me or message, message me and say, but I'm not like you. And they, 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 they. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I wasn't always there. There was a time when I was having pity parties and saying, oh me, God don't love me. I can't get anything. I don't, I don't, I know. I can't, I don't, I can't. I was there. So I can relate. I can relate. But you got assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every interruption from the power of the spirit of the power of the ear. I cancel your assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know you're doing something good when the devil tries to step in. Hallelujah. And so I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you. Just continue to believe, man. Wherever you are on the journey, whether you just start, you're, you're, you're quarter way in, halfway in, three quarter way in, or, 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 or closer to the end of the journey, keep pressing, man. Keep believing because God is faithful. The next verse says, For you will forget the shame of your youth. Yes. You will forget the shame of your youth. There are times in the past when you have been ashamed. There are times, there are things you have done that you are ashamed of. Some women have had abortions or abortion and you're ashamed. Hallelujah. You're thinking that, boy, I'm not going to get a husband because I may not be able to have a baby now that I've had an abortion. We cancel that. Come into the Fort Watch family and we will pray and a new womb will be given to you and the shame will be washed away. Every shame. We cancel that and command it to go in the name of Jesus Christ. You have had several boyfriends and you have had sex with so many of them and you feel dirty, you feel unclean because now that you have come into Christ you realize that that was not God's best for you we cancel that shame in the name of Jesus Christ and we give you a new name the name that like the woman at the well hallelujah ah the come see a man name is upon you the evangelist name is upon you the name of the daughter of God is upon you in the name of Jesus Christ and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. And so verse 9 says, For this is like the waters of Noah to me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no longer cover the earth. Hear me carefully. Watch this. Revelation. God is saying that your life and all that you have been through up until today, the 7th of October, the day of completion, the day when God says, all that I am doing in your life, I have completed it today and I am resting. He says, like it was with Noah when the flood came. And he says, I will not 
destroy. I will not do what I have done in the time of Noah again. Glory to God. God says, I will not destroy you for the mistakes that you have made again. Those days are done with the wilderness. Those days are done with the children of Israel before Jesus Christ. Now you have redemption in Christ. Glory. Hallelujah. Now you are redeemed. You are constantly redeemed through Jesus Christ and his death, burial, and resurrection. Glory to God. And so he says that as the waters of Noah, for as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no longer cover the earth, so I have sworn that no longer sin shall cover you. These are my words now. I'm prophesying. God is saying to you, no longer shall sin cover you. No longer shall shame and disgrace cover you. No longer shall regret cover you. No longer shall you be imprisoned by demonic forces, witchcraft, mermaid spirits. Spirits from the second heaven and spirits from the grave. No longer shall you be covered by them because they represent evil waters. And we cancel that this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 My time is up. My time is up. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My time is up. My time is up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let, let me just give you um, another, one, another verse. And it says, Hallelujah. So have I sworn that I would not be angry with you nor rebuke you. This is the word of God. And so all you have to do is believe. Believe. Will you believe that God says, I will no longer rebuke you or be angry with you. Regardless of what you do. David said, if I make my bed in hell, you are there with me. God says that I will no longer be angry with you nor rebuke you. Hallelujah. Because he has given us his Holy Spirit. To take us to the next level. And so I'm just going to finish on verse 10. And then we can pick it up again. For the mountains shall depart. And the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from you. Nor shall my covenant of peace be removed. Oh Jesus. Come on somebody. Somebody please. I'm begging you. Uh, if, if, if I be your friend. If I be your brother in Christ. I am asking you to pull out verse 10 this morning. And encourage yourself. Pull out verse 10 from Isaiah 54. And just meditate. Mando. Robo. Thank your Holy Spirit. Thank your Holy Spirit. For the mountains shall depart. And the hills be removed. It means everything that is fixed. Everything that looks insurmountable. Everything that looks like it cannot be shifted or shaken. God says they shall depart and be removed. But his kindness shall not depart from you. Nor shall his covenant of peace be removed. Oh come on somebody. Hallelujah. You can prophesy this over your life and over your family. You can declare, God, your word says that your kindness shall not depart from my household. Therefore, I command kindness of God, favor of God, goodness of God, mercy of God, peace of God to be in my household in the name of Jesus. Come on, we got to practice to prophesy. Prophesy God's word from Isaiah 54 verse 10 over your life, over your family, over your children, over your business. Come on, go in your business place this morning. Go in your office this morning and the promotion that has been denied you, you declare, God, your kindness shall not depart from me. Therefore, my promotion that has been held up by principalities, I command Command them to go now for the kindness of my God is upon me and I shall prosper and flourish and be in good health even as my soul prospers. I could go on but we're going to pick it up because we have time. Hallelujah. We stop at verse 10. Hallelujah. And we go into verse 13. No, sorry, verse 15. Hallelujah. Yes, so we go into verse 15. Hallelujah. Will you believe? Today and tomorrow we're doing will you believe, man? Because if you believe, nothing shall be impossible for you. Amen? Glory to God. I hope somebody was blessed this morning. Hallelujah. It's time for communion. Communion, communion, communion. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your blessing upon your family. I pray, O oh God, that each and every life and heart and soul and mind, will and emotion and spirit 
will be fertile soil to receive the revelation that you have given this morning and regurgitate with even greater levels of revelation to, to bring improvement to their family, to their community, and to their nation, and to those who they serve and those who serve them in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask you to forgive us of any unrighteousness that exists in our body, soul, and spirit, mind, will, and emotion today. Any word, any thought, or any action that we have done that has been against your word, we repent and renounce it now and ask your forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you will bless these emblems Sanctify them. Anoint them afresh, O oh God, that they will truly represent your body and your blood to us to give us life and life more abundantly, to heal and deliver us, and to set us free from all unrighteousness, all evil concupiscence, and every plan of the enemy. In Jesus' name, amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth took the bread, he broke it, he gave it to the disciples, he blessed it, and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And likewise, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth took the cup. He blessed it. He took a sup. And he gave it to the disciples and he said, Drink, this is my blood. The blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of my blood, you do it in remembrance of me. My death, burial, and resurrection until I come. Drink ye all of his blood by faith and be transformed be renewed receive the new life of Christ afresh in you drink ye all of it hallelujah 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 what an awesome morning what an awesome morning if I may say so myself by the spirit of a living God the Lord bless you thank you so much for joining us tomorrow is deliverance Thursday we want to break some yoke and sever some burdens in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, right now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord bless you with his anointing to go, to be, and to do for his good pleasure according to Mark 16, 15 to 18. May the Lord's hand be upon you to demonstrate his goodness, his love, and his mercy. May the Lord bless your family your business, your finances, your health, and everything that concerns you. May it be at the forefront of the Lord's mind and actions in the name of Jesus Christ. May angels always be around you to keep you from falling in Jesus' name. So go forth, family, and have an amazing day. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day, His way, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Remember, Fort Watch family, Jesus love you and we love the whole Aona too. We love you guys. Take courage. Hallelujah. I just want to leave with a little joy that was in my heart. And, and, um, and, and when was it? When was it we went down to the, the place for the ladies' um, memorial service? Um, memorial? Donut, third, the donut the Company in Crossroads. Oh, yeah. When was it? Which day was it? Friday. Friday. On Friday last week, we went down to a company where they had a staff member that passed away. And we were invited by the grace of God to, to just come and share a little encouragement to the, the department members and staff members that gathered. And um, as we walked up and we're about to start ministering, a lady walked up to me and said, uh, Pastor Wade and, and, and Mrs. Pastor Wade, it is so good to meet you guys in person. I am a Fort Watch family member. And I'm telling you, man, my wife had to, 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 to draw close to me and touch me with her elbow because... When I, I, I get so excited when I come upon Fort Watch family members, man. I love you guys uh, so much. You guys excite me. Yeah. Uh, come on now. Wifey was excited too. She said, it's such a pleasure. But I can't contain myself, man. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. And that's how I am. But I don't mean anything bad by it. Glory to God. And so when I say we love you, when I say we love you guys, we truly do. And when this 
this thing is, is, is passed and we can get a chance to hug, man, you'll get a chance to see how much we really love you. Make sure you have on something that protects your ribs because I'm pretty strong and I'll squeeze you really, really hard. But we love you guys and we just wanted to put that in there that, um, you know, whatever it is that we can do to help you get through anything that you're going through, we are willing to hold your hand and demonstrate that Jesus Christ truly is Lord and he will never leave you or forsake you. All you have to do is continue to believe. Hallelujah. God bless you. Take courage.